A State of Balance, posted on December 9, 2011. The imbalanced state of being is always moving into extremes. You are either totally lost in physicality or you're trying to totally detach from physicality. It's like swinging from one extreme to another. The state of wholeness is a very simple place of balance where you're resting in the fullness of your being and you're also focused on the realm of physicality through the desires in your being, focused in this physical body, thus manifesting new realities and availing new experiences. This is brilliantly encapsulated in the saying, to be in the world but not of it. It points to a state of balance where you're not avoiding physicality and you're not totally lost in it either. You can come to this balance if you can simply understand life in its wholeness instead of holding on to narrow perceptions rooted in narrow thinking. A balance is established when you line up your na nature of desiring with the wisdom and wholeness of your being nature. In the absence of this rooting in your wholeness, your desiring nature can lead to negative patterns like craving, greed, exploitation, victimization, addiction, overindulgence, and other unwise actions. Desiring is the nature of your being. It's a sorry state of being when a person gets into the misguided mindset of trying to reach a place where he or she can be free of desires. It's an exercise in futility and total ignorance of reality of life energy. This physical mind is an extension of the nature of your being and hence desiring is inherent in its makeup. A mind and brain will always desire preference, likes, dislikes, inclinations because it's, that's its nature. And to want to suppress this movement of the mind is the most unnatural thing to do, and it's actually nothing short of inner violence. One can sense the nauseating vibe in the energy of people who are stuck in the place of suppressing their mind's natural movement towards desires. Such a su suppression not only creates physical disease in the person, but also leads him or her to attract realities of stagnation and discomfort. If the being that we are did not have a desire to express or experience, it would not have manifested this world, this physical realm of existence. Desiring new realities is the core nature of your being, a nature which you cannot suppress without suffering the suppression. This being manifested as living beings like humans, who are virtually in individual points of unique desires, thus leading to a multitude of personal realities and unique personal desires that move towards manifesting new realities in the totality. The physical ex existence is a platform of creation and is designed to have a variety and diversity of desires. Each physical being has some unique makeup that creates a unique pattern of desires which works in conjunction with the wholeness of life to manifest new realities. Accept this nature of your being. Accept this nature of desiring in your mind and brain which is just a creation of this being, and line up with the force of attraction created in your life stream as it moves towards the manifestation of your desired realities, as new desires keep taking shape in your physical being. To resist any of this natural movement is just an exercise in opposing your life stream, and it only serves to create suffering in your being. Resting in the wholeness of your being. Desire while resting in wholeness seems like a paradox to the mind, but this is exactly the nature of your life energy. The being that you are, as source energy, creates without craving because it knows that it's already whole, it's already love, it's already pure positive, it's already complete and one. As a human being, you tend to forget this inherent or inner wholeness of your being and thus become lopsided by craving outside manifestations or people to make you whole. Creation is just a movement of expression, of love and joy, and a movement of experience. It's not a movement of finding wholeness. If you're trying to use manifestations to find your wholeness, you're looking in the wrong place for it. Wholeness is already who you are in your being. Don't search for it through physical manifestations. Just enjoy the manifestations, the experiences that it affords, the sensory pleasure it affords, as an expression of your creative potential as the being that you are. 
It's easy to find this balanced state of being when you become aware of its dynamics. When you are ignorant of such a possibility, you are constantly vacillating between extremes. Your power of creation is at the strongest when you are resting in your wholeness. In this balanced state of being, there is no craving. There is no delusion that a manifestation is going to make you whole. There are no extraordinary expectations. There's no sense of bigness associated with any desires. There's just an enjoyment of your nature as a creator who can create realities through lining up with the movement of life stream created by your desires.